Right, good morning. I won't keep you very long, I hope. Um, if you come here regularly, I don't know how often you come here, but if you come here regularly, I've been speaking a lot about wrapping cloths and unfinished wrapping cloths, and I just thought, I've got unfinished, haven't we all got unfinished ledgers, sketchbooks, artist books? So I've just been had these out this morning just to look at what needs finishing. Um, they're from various classes. Um, this one is from a class. Um, so I'll just quickly flip through and check in really what needs to be finished in here. And to be honest with you, I don't think there's anything in there. I've still got pages in here, but I probably won't. There is something going on here, but I think this has just been practice for another one you're going to see in a minute. But normally I keep the book for the class and that's it, and I don't do anything else in it. Um, and the same applies to the third one I'll show you, but this one is just something that feeds me every so often when I need to do a bit of paperwork or book work. So I'll quickly flick through this. I'm not sure if I've done these before on here. Um, but if you want to see about the wrap, I hate that page. If you want to see about the wrapping cloths, just look back at my other videos on my channel. There's a lot of wrapping cloth stuff there. Um, so this is one, like I say, that just feeds my need for working in a book every so often. Um, and I don't think there's anything unfinished in here. Well, maybe this, this could probably do with a bit more work. That's the last one in there. So, but I'm not really minded to do that yet because I found um, another one, the one I was talking about. So this was for a class that I did recently, um, not recently, but anyway. And I love these colours and I love the patterns and the shapes that are evolving from this little book. Um, the presentation, I'm very happy with. Another thing to say, I don't mind about the reverses, I like to see the reverses. I know some people have a problem with that, I'm not one of those people, I like it. But if you do work in a book, all you need to do is so you do your first page, when you do your next page, don't do it next page, turn it over again, this will be your next page. And then when you've worked on them, just tie them together and nobody can see the reverse of your page. But like I say, it doesn't bother me. Um, again, I don't, what's not to like about that? Um, so this is unfinished, okay? All these pieces that are collaged on need to have stitches around the edges. Now that is going to be a mammoth task. Um, I know you can't see this, but well, you probably can't, but each, some of these little squares have got little stab stitches securing them, but they need really, to go with the plan I had, they need to go all the way around. And then again, each individual piece here needs stitched down all the way around each piece. So it's a mammoth task. And I didn't get it done in the class before I did the next page, which often happens, it's, no, it's not a problem. So I think if I need some mindless stitching one night and I just want to literally just stitch without thinking about it, this is what I'm going to come back to. Um, so again, and so this is what happened after that. And I think these are pretty much done. I think it's just that, yeah. They're, they're done. Um, they're done. It's just this. Probably I needed to move on quickly to the next stage in terms of getting the videos made for class. Um, so that's why this wasn't finished. But I really do want to finish it. Um, because I've got 500 hours spare, not. But I do want to finish it. So I maybe do, I won't do it all at once. I'll maybe do a little section of a page every so often and get that finished. So I just thought it might make a change from wrapping cloths for those of you who come here a lot. And if you don't come here a lot and you've never been here before, hello and please come back. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to say.